Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Um, today's tutorial, I want to show you how to use Font Cloud, which is the free um, font manager from, from Creative Fabrica. I have another video on this, but I get a lot of questions on it, so hopefully this will clear everything up. So um, we are in Creative Fabrica, and I will link to this. Now to use the font manager, um, you do have to have an account, but it's free. So once you go to creativefabrica.com, you will go to sign up, or if you already have an account, you can log in. So you sign up and you can connect it to your Facebook or you can just enter your email, create a password and register. Um, I already have an account, so I'm going to log in. Okay, so now I am logged in to Creative Fabrica. Um, so when you want to use Font Cloud, you'll come here to Tools and you'll come down to Font Cloud, and then you'll open Font Cloud. Then it takes just a second to open up. And then you will see all of the fonts that you have downloaded. It's taken them a second to kind of load. So you can scroll through here and you can see all of the different fonts, or you can type in your preview word, and you can see your preview word in all these different fonts, which is super helpful if you know, you have a project in mind and you want to see how it's going to look. You can type in you know, whatever you're going to say on your project and you can scroll through your fonts and see what it looks like in all of the different fonts. Okay, one of the main questions I get though is how do I put fonts into Font Cloud because it, they're not just automatically there. So let me go back to the main page here. Okay, I want to show you first of all with um, some free fonts. There is a lot of paid fonts on Creative Fabrica, but there's always free fonts too. So you can come to freebies and you can browse through all of the freebies or you can just scroll right here to free fonts. And it will show you what they have free right now. Um, some of them are always free and some of them are a limited time. This Sunday Christmas right now, it's still going for another six days. But, you know, depending on when you watch this video, this might not be here. They'll have something else. Um, they switch them up all the time. But I don't already have this font. So this is a good one to start with to show you exactly what we're going to do to use Font Cloud. So I'm going to click this font. Okay. And right here, I'm going just, just to click Download. And it says commercial usage allowed. This is a big thing with um, Creative Fabrica. Any font you use, you can use in any project you want. They, they all include a commercial license, which is huge. A lot of the other websites like Defont, um, Font Space, most of those are for private use or personal use only. But any font you get on Creative Fabrica will have a commercial license. Okay, so I clicked the download. And you can see that it downloaded right here. It depends on the program that you're running and what kind of computer you have as to where this folder downloads. Mine show up down here and they also go to a download folder that I have on my desktop. So I'm going to go into that. I'm going to close this down. Here's my download folder. Here's the file. You need to open up the zip file and then install if you want the OTF or TTF. Um, you know, there's really no big difference. I like the open, um, open type font, the OTF. So I'm just going to take this and drag it. I'm going to take this and drag it to my desktop. Okay, so now it's here. It's on my desktop. It's right here. I'm going to install it. And for me, I'm going to right click and install for all users. Um, if you have a Mac or just a different operating program, you might install it differently. Um, you can also double click into it and you can use the install here. Um, I don't do it that way just because sometimes it doesn't go into my Inkscape if I do it that way, which is a different program we're not talking about today. But you can install it on your computer however you normally would get it installed. Okay. Now that it's installed on our computer, what that did is put it into Cricut Design Space. We're going to import that in a minute. The next step to do is to come back over here and go back into Font Cloud. So let's open this back up.
Okay, so over here it shows you all the fonts that I have installed. I'm going to scroll down and you'll see that Sunday Christmas, let's see where would it be. You can see Sunday Christmas is not here, so I need to put it in here. I'm going to browse. I'm going to find the file that I just downloaded to my computer. Sunday Christmas, it's right here. Now it has to be the unzipped file type. You cannot upload a zip folder. It has to be unzipped, which is what I just saved to my desktop. I'm going to click that open and you'll see it is starting to upload right now into my font cloud. There it is. I'm just going to refresh this page to make sure it shows up um, with all my other fonts. Okay, let me scroll down. It would be right, it's right here. It hasn't quite finished uploading. There, there it is. Okay, so I'm going to type my preview word here, and I can see what that will look like in Sunday Christmas. But if I want all those fancy extra parts, I'm going to click into the font and scroll until I start seeing these highlighted boxes. And this is all the magic, all the fun. A lot of times you're gonna download a free font that's gonna look really pretty in the display and then when you get it, you're like, wait a minute, where's the swirls and the swashes and the extra characters? Well, they're not there on most free fonts. Um, and if they are there, you have to have a font manager to unlock them and that's what's so great about this font cloud because it's free and the fonts from Creative Fabrica are free, and you can come in here and unlock your magic pretties. So let's say, here's my name, but I want this fancy C. So I'm just going to click it, and you see it says it's copied to my clipboard. So if I come here, backspace out of that, and paste. For me, I have a, a Windows PC, so Control V is my paste. And you can see it showed my fancy C right there. Let's see what kind of an L can I get. Okay, backspace, paste that in, and now I have my fancy characters. So uh, let's say this is what I want to, hold on, let me just make sure. Yeah, okay. So let's say this is what I want to put into my project. So now I need to open um, Design Space. You want to make sure that you download the font to your computer before you open Design Space. But once it's downloaded, you can open Design Space. You can start a new project. Whoa. Why is that so strange looking? Did Design Space change? I just did an update and it looks like <laughs> there's an update here. Okay, well that's fine by me. Text. Um, let's see here. I'm going to change my font. I'm going to come into System Fonts because anything I've downloaded is going to show up in a System Font. And I can actually just start typing in Sunday Christmas. There it is. Okay, so I'm going to change that to the font. And I can type it in right here, and you see it populate. But what I want to do is come back to Font Cloud, and you know how I had copied and pasted those special characters in here? I'm just going to highlight this whole thing and copy it. So you can right click for copy, uh, you can control C for copy, however you want to copy that. Uh, it's different on a Mac, I don't know how it is and come in here and paste it in. It only took one character. There we go. So now I've copied and pasted everything in. And what I need to do now is make it all um, connected like the font actually is. The easiest way to do that is to take your letter spacing 
and just drop it down. Let's say negative 10. Well, that's too much. Negative 5. Okay, this font doesn't want to work the normal way. Or maybe this is the update, I'm not sure. But no worries, I can just move each of these one at a time here. Okay, that's probably as close as I'm going to want the C and the R so that they don't overlap. I'm going to ungroup this, advanced, ungroup letters. And now I'll just move these guys one at a time. Guys, this is crazy. I have not seen the design space like this. I am seeing it for the first time with you here, and it is different. But I like it. So I'm just using the arrow keys on my um, keyboard to move these guys around. I love this. This is amazing. You can unlock each individual letter, everything so big and concise. This is great. Thanks, design space. Okay, so there's my word looking just how I want it. Now I'm going to, look at that box. I'm going to connect everything. I'm sorry, I'm so excited for this update. And I'm going to weld it all together. Okay, so now there's my word, crystal, looking just like it looked here. And that is how you use Font Cloud. You can do it with any font that you have on your computer. You can see I've got tons and tons in here. They all have these extra special, um, characters because I like to buy fancy fonts. Uh, this one's a fun one. It's got a lot of extra stuff on it. I mean, you scroll down and you see all this extra stuff. This one has a lot of extras. Um, yeah, but that's basically how it works. You open Font Cloud. You upload whatever font you want to put in. Make sure you upload it from your computer because it's just not all automatically there. Just because you downloaded it from Creative Fabrica does not put it into Font Cloud. You download it, install it on your computer, then upload it into Font Cloud. Get it looking how you want. And copy and paste it into Design Space. That's all there is to it. Thanks, guys.